YouTube. <laughs> According to my analytics, over 60% of you aren't subscribed. Why? <laughs> Yo. Um, I am tired. I, uh, got up at, uh, well, I got up at 7, which is not that crazy, but I didn't go to bed until, like, 2.30, because... We went out last night, which is crazy and felt oh very God, weird. Wow. One month Ow. from two years, slick wow. Ow. Oh, no. Um, wow. It was fun, though. Um, I didn't get drunk or anything. But Matt bought me one drink and it was huge. And I was like, oh, no, I'm screwed. But it, uh... It was like this big. And I was like, it's not gonna, this is gonna be terrible. I'm not gonna be able to wake up in the morning. But I barely even got buzzed and it did not taste like alcohol at all. It just tasted like soda. So I'm pretty sure that, well, I didn't get scammed because it wasn't my money, but he got scammed. Because that was soda. Soda! Um, People pog, wow. Thank you for the seven People, months. Yo. <clears throat> It's so easy to get drunk off drinks like that. No, because I can't drink soda. Well, I can, but I don't think I've ever- I think I've told you guys this. I don't think I've ever finished a can of soda before. Like, it just makes me feel sick. It's just too much sugar. So I can't drink that much of that kind of drink. So I wouldn't, and then get drunk off of it. I've never finished a Game Fuel, ever. I know, I feel really bad about it. I can only drink the ones where you get, like, the mini cans. But, like, a normal size can of soda... I don't think I've ever finished a normal size can of soda. <laughs> I don't think. I don't know. Maybe I have. But I, it, like, 99.99% of the time, I, I don't. I, I can't. I can finish a sparkling water. Well, actually, I, I can finish White Claws. Does that count? That probably counts. Um, anyway. That's, uh, that was last night. And now I'm here. This morning, Rattles... I, I've had, uh, had a really hard time speaking today. People Maverick got his rattlesnake vaccine smile. this morning. Tito, thank you for the 21 months, uh, which is great. So him and Bella have gotten their first rattlesnake vaccines. They have to get a booster in four weeks from their first vaccine, and then they'll be good to go there. Uh, I asked about rattlesnake training because we had talked about rattlesnake training before for COVID. No. Because there are rattlesnakes on the property. Um, I asked about rattlesnake training. Because that's a thing that they do with dogs. Is you can take your dogs to rattlesnake training. And have them be like scared of snakes. So they don't attack them in the first place. And the vet was trying to recommend it to me. And I was like. Because in my head I had thought about it. And I was like. There's got to be no ethical way to do that. Unless you use a fake snake. Which I don't even think would be effective. In training a dog to not want to mess with rattlesnakes. And so I was like. Well how do those classes go? And she said that they have defanged snakes whose mouths are taped closed. They put a shock collar on your dog and then put them in a room together. And she was like, after two or three times, the dog doesn't even dog doesn't even go near the snake. I was like, what the fuck? I, I don't want to do like that's unethical on so many levels for the snake and for the dogs. I was like, that is so weird. Like, what? I realize it's a con that it's conditioning, and honestly, it, like. It's a quick way to, wow. to keep your dog Yo, away from snakes, which is safe. It makes your dog more sna safe. Happy? But thank you. But that's some Texas shit. Um, anyway, well, it works. There are a lot of things that work that are not ethical. So People I'm not going to wow. be doing that. Damn. Thank you for the tw two years. Two years. WTF happened, honestly. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I didn't tell you about that today. That's Ella. I meant to tell you about that today. That's literally what the vet said on the phone. She said that they tape mouths. Pog, wow. Tape snake mouths. Wow. And defang them. I don't know why you do both. I guess. Well, I don't know. That's what she said to me. I was like, damn. That's literally, that's about as bad as I can imagine it being. Um, so they don't get bit while putting the tape on? Man, I don't know. It's fucking wild. Uh, okay. What else do I have to tell you guys about? Uh, that was my vet appointment for today. I had a vet appointment for Ori on Thursday. Thank you for the five, Lizzie. Um, I had an appointment for Ori on Thursday. I took him to the vet. 
Drop-off was between 7 and 8 a.m. in San Antonio. So it took like three hours to get there, right? So I left at 5 a.m. to get there. <laughs> I put this on my old Twitter. I leave at 5 a.m. to drop off Ori at the vet at 8 a.m. And wow. the avian vet doesn't even get into the office until 9.30 or 10 a.m. So I don't know why I had to drop him off between 7 and 8 a.m. and leave that early. And I was like, do you know how long it's going to take? All they had to do, they coped his beak, and then they just had to look at his eye and tell me how much vision he had. Um, which I probably could have told you. He, he he doesn't have vision in one eye. A little bit of light can get through it. But that's all that they had to do. So, like, it in it, it takes less than 20 minutes to do all that, right? Um, so I was like, well, do you know how long it's going to take? And she's like, oh, I mean, it, it'll definitely be done before 2. And I was like, 2 p.m.? Dropped him off at 8 a.m. Oh, He's wow. not going to be done until 2, yeah. and all they have to do is cope his beak and look at his eye. But I was like, okay. Like, I didn't make a fuss about it, whatever. I was just like, all right. Um, so I took myself to the zoo. I went to the San Antonio Zoo, which is wonderful, by the way. I was very surprised and pretty impressed. Some things I wasn't as impressed with, but in general, I was like, damn, good stuff. Um, so I went to the zoo, came back. I got back at two. Um, I, I got back at two. The vet called me. She didn't even see him until 3 p.m. People pog, Wow. Took her Yo. 20 minutes, because she called me at, like, 3.15 or 3.20. And she was like, yeah, he's blind in one eye. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> like, anything else you can tell me? And she was like, well, a little bit of light comes through the eye. Then we talked a little bit. I asked her a bunch of questions, and um, she, she said that at one point, debris got in his eye. It's probably when he was in the prison, or when they caught him in the prison or something. He got debris in his eye and that's what caused the abscess that he had a long time ago and um and the blindness in this eye and the reason that my sponsor donated him um or wanted to donate him to the rehab center is because he was like um or my sponsor thought that he was going to lose vision and i didn't know that or i didn't see it i was like i, I think it'll be fine i'm still gonna fly him Peepo Pog, wow. <laughs> he was 25, 25 months. months. Peepo Pog, wow. It's not a bird prison. He flew into a literal prison. Um, anyway, that's another story for another day. But I'm still going to fly him. I'm going to see how he adapts. Uh, I still would like to hunt with him. Uh, it, it just depends on how he adapts and how good he gets it. Because his depth perception is going to be way off. And his timing is going to be way off and, um, and all that. So we will, we will see. But I will keep flying him. Anyway. So she told me that, she did his beak, and then after that call, like 3.15, right, 4 o'clock rolls around, and he's still, it's curbside, and they still haven't brought my bird out or my invoice out to me, and I haven't heard from them at no. all. And so I called them, and I was like, they're done with him. Can you bring him out to me? Can I leave? Because I'm from Austin, and I need to drive back. And I told them, mind you, I told them in the morning. I was like, just so you know, I'm from Austin, so I'm, I'm a few hours out. So I'm going to need to know, like, when to leave, and I'm trying to get back to, like, do stuff. You know, like, they knew I was from Austin. And then, um, where I lost my place. Uh, oh, okay, so it took them 45 minutes after they had finished with him to print my invoice and to bring him out to my car. He was just sitting there for another 45 minutes. And then I leave. And then I look at the bill after I had left. And they charged me a daycare fee. Because he was there all day. For a 20 minute, for an eye exam and trimming his beak. And he just sat in a crate the whole day. It took them 20 minutes. Wow. Granted, it's only a $20 fee. But when I saw the line item, I was like, no fucking way. I'm going to bring it up to them because I haven't paid yet. I have to pay on Monday. I'm going to bring it up. I'm just going to be like, why on earth is there a fee for an appointment that could have been 20 minutes? Um, see what they say. But I also don't want to make a big fuss about it because I don't want to burn my bridge with that avian vet over $20. Because there are not a lot of good avian vets in Texas. And, uh, falconers here really like her, and she's one of two falcon vets that I know that I can get to, so I'm not gonna make a big fuss over 20 bucks. 
But I am just going to ask, like, why? Anyway. Maybe she's watching the stream. What's up? Nintendo was shot by Skeleton. <laughs>